So after making uh, calculations for uh, energy content per volume for blends versus diesel fuel, I determined that, uh, and also uh, making some observations with blends of waste oils with gasoline, uh, it, I determined that uh, that a blend of 50% that included 50% gasoline to 50% waste oil would uh, approximate the viscosity and specific gravity and energy content of diesel fuel. So I then uh, blended up a small container of 50% uh, 1040 motor oil and 50% uh, gasoline and then another sample that was 50% gasoline with canola oil and both of those samples came out with the right numbers for specific gravity and viscosity. So I went ahead and I acquired some uh, waste uh, canola oil and I blended it with uh, some waste gasoline that I had used basically for back flushing my filters. So there's going to be uh, some a small quantity of um, free carbon and lacquer from previous motor, motor um, oil, waste motor oil experiments. In fact, this is the sample and it's pretty black, but it's been settling for about a week and, uh, and I think it's pretty clean and I'm about ready to run my engine on it. I've made up 20 gallons of it to run my engine on my automobile on it. And I put some of that, uh, of this sample, into this graduated cylinder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to measure the specific gravity and also the viscosity of it. And what we're looking for is roughly 0.84 or thereabouts uh, specific gravity. And this is barely registering on the 0.85. So the specific gravity, this stuff is a little dense, off scale dense for our taste. Now I've got a um, hydrometer that goes from 0.85 to a zero to 0 0.900. And it nearly bottoms out. It's reading 0.8 six zero. So I'll record that. Before we go any further, uh, we of course have to uh, test the, or measure the temperature to get an accurate specific gravity reading and viscosity reading. Eighty point six now. Fahrenheit, which is 27.0 C. Okay, so now let's measure the specific gra the uh, viscosity of our sample of 50% canola oil to 50% gasoline. So it's 51.2 seconds. And that brings us to 
about 35 percent uh, gasoline uh, to vegetable oil because I had put a fair amount of sludge maybe three gallons of sludge that I thought was mostly gasoline but apparently not so I think I'm going to try running the 30 35 percent gasoline that'll be a reasonable mid-range experiment uh, my top end has been uh, 20 percent gasoline so and I'm moving towards that 50 percent uh, mark and so I'm going to run this 35 percent see if my engine runs any better a few uh, weeks ago I made the calculations for blends uh, that accounted for uh, how many uh, BTUs there would be in particular blends and I realized that uh, that a blend in involving 50 percent gasoline and 50 percent waste oil such as canola oil or 1040 motor oil would actually have the same number of BTUs as uh, pump diesel fuel so at that point I uh, de decided to start experimenting with adding more gasoline to my blends to see where it, w where it would go and uh, I recently uh, made up a blend that is 35 percent gasoline and uh, 65 percent uh, waste canola oil and uh, and you'll see what my engine looks like uh, starting up. Uh. This is my 27 year old Detroit diesel engine starting up on uh, 35 percent gasoline to 65 percent uh, canola oil. Uh, there's, as you can see there's very little exhaust uh, fumes. The engine starts just fine, idles fine, and not only that, but I found out that the engine actually has more power than it had with diesel fuel. So I'm really convinced that adding more gasoline than 20 percent into a waste oil blend diesel fuel is a good thing for my engine. This new blend of 35% uh, uh, gasoline to 65% uh, waste vegetable oil has turned out to be uh, like having a turbocharger in uh, my engine. And my engine doesn't have a turbocharger. So let's drive some hills and see what it's like. Back when I uh, first bought this automobile, it was running on diesel fuel the whole time. I bought it about four and a half years ago, and uh, compared to other cars on the road, it was quite a slug on diesel fuel. And, and I, when my first ex uh, blending experiments to get vegetable oil to, to run on the engine, I was looking for a blend that would approximate diesel fuel. flat and so I found 20% gasoline to 80% vegetable oil I uh, had roughly the same power of diesel fuel 
But when I moved to hill country, I found out that diesel fuel still has more power going up the hill than a 20% blend with waste oil. But then I switched to 35% gasoline, and now it takes the hills as well as any other car out there. acceleration. This is the first time I've been able to keep up with the traffic on the highway going up hills.